Here we go, folks. Nike Alpha Fly. <laughs> and running and as you can see from the back we have all the massage surface kind of bones and muscles and also you can see slightly in the back we have a lot of shoes to review coming up so let's get into this <laughs> He's going to release them in the UK 2nd of June, which is when this video goes live. So, watch the video and you'll know all about it. So, I was out today and about probably about a mile, we'll overlay some footage here. Um, and you can see basically the air pocket getting absolutely smashed. Um, and it's a very weird shoe. And you can see the atomic knit in the shoe, and um, quite different. I actually like it. This is one of the reasons why I waited for the um, next percent to come on rather than the four fly not four percent because this weave is ten times better than any of the rest. And also you can see the heel lock that they've introduced, um, and then also this tag on the back that is a big helper when you're trying to put the shoes on because it takes the first time they're extremely rigid to try to get them on, but this definitely helped this time. Um, and then the couple of eyelets, there's more eyelets. Um, eyelids are the thing the laces go into, so there's a lot more of them. Feels solid when you're putting them on, quite tight. And um, these are 9.5 UK, um, but pretty big. And you're, I'm six foot at the minute, and probably need about six foot three. Like the stack height is massive in these, it's ridiculous just some of the, how big and that you feel really unstable underfoot, and you can you're more leaning towards this um, air pocket that they've introduced and then obviously the Zumax foam is in an abundance plus the massive cargo plate in the middle. Try and put them on, what do you see the struggle you have to try put these on? Right foot on. Right foot it's going to get into a review of the shoe so the weight starts at 210 for a women's size 10 um, UK and the offsets 4 mil, 4 foot 35 mil, heel 39 mil and the kind of the type of shoe that you use these for is all about the road. So as you can see in the air zoom pod when we hit the freeze frame how much the 4 foot just sinks to the ground and the ricochet straight up the calf like the definition of the calf really defined just because of the attack it's actually going through um but overall the forefoot of the shoe is a pretty smooth ride when you're running on it and it's kind of emphasized by my short stride length here um but when you're actually running and try to heel slap you can feel the massive difference um you need to be on that or zoom pods um or else you won't get the full benefit of it when you're jogging about in the shoe that it's definitely a fast racing shoe and you can see why most of the elites are using them. do a bit of commentary on top of the footage that I um, took of the shoe today and you can see the performance and what way it reacts to the grind but um, two top five things I like about the shoe one would be comfortability and um, definitely when you put the shoe on first first time it's 100% really comfortable um, 
the Zoom AirPods at the front, they're de I'm a big fan of them, um, and they're definitely going to make you go that bit faster um, compared to the next percents, and there'll be no denying that these definitely do make you go faster. Um, and then also the heel, um, kind of the ankle lock, I'm a big, um, something that I have high regard in shoes when you have a big ankle lock and the foam and the heel is um it's strange but if you're ran in the zoom fly or the next percent you kind of get to know what it's like um and the general look is you get the shoe looks fantastic kind of like that futuristic look um as well and the black and green colors would be the best um that's probably the five things i like about it let's go into the five things i don't like i might have more than five because generally do i like this shoe probably not as much as i thought i was going to be um i'd like to have the air pockets front and back i believe just to think that you get more benefit um and me being a kind of like heel striker in the later parts of races uh, wouldn't get full benefit into this shoe um, second has to be the cost at 260 pounds um, but if you've paid the money for the next percent it's no real difference um, and then just generally probably um, third would probably be are they comfortable to run in I didn't find them great comfort at all um, just felt really sloppy um, a lot of movement if you don't kind of hit that niche striking at the front of the pot at the air pod you kind of get through about the place and then taking a sharp corner as well um most issues nowadays don't really like the sharp corners um but really did like the testing them for um today only ran about a mile in them so i'll have to maybe do a 5k in them to see what the actual difference is but maybe that could be an upcoming video where we can pair the next percents to the alpha to see what the actual major difference is um the other thing probably the best uh it's actually true to size because a lot of people were complaining that the next percents weren't true to size and they were kind of a bit tight but i actually got a 9.5 in the shoe and plenty of room around the toe and the sock as well a pretty light sock um so yeah i would say true to size on these um but when you look at the actual freeze frame that i'm going to introduce now um, you can see how much the zoom pot actually trashes into the ground. It's actually really surprising. Um, you can see the front foot um, just going straight into the ground. Um, don't know if that was planned, um, what it was going to be like. So it would be interesting to see how that would do over the distance. Like say if you're doing a marathon. Um, because like right here, that's massive. Like that shoe sinks into the ground. Um, I don't know if it's going to benefit people who might be slightly um heavier than others but um that's a different kind of kettle of fish but no definitely decent shoe but would I race in them probably not <laughs> overall verdict on this shoe probably give it um uh, maybe three out of five um good shoe nice innovation hopefully they have better iterations to come uh, this year hopefully next year but in my opinion if you're picking between the alphas and the next percents i would 100 percent go with the next percents there's one of the issues on the market so yeah hopefully this review helps and check out the next ones thanks folks for checking out the video maybe um like subscribe and i'll put down some of the links to some of my socials that you can follow along and um, hopefully we'll be getting the sock and endorphin pro the New Balance TNC coming up, but next video coming up review we have 1080 V10s, the um, Peg 37s right in the UK on Friday, so hopefully get one in. But and we have the um, Hawka uh, on a on a Carbon X to review, and these will be the boys have around um, 30 to 30 mile 50k in the shoes, so plenty. To review on these so like and subscribe folks <laughs>